Today I'm gonna show this boost motor here. It's been a while since I made a video on this one. Uh, it is running now on 22 volt DC at uh, let's say 825 milliamps. I have there four lamps AC on the AC side. AC side in parallel hooked up. I have a capacitor over here, the large one, gonna fill it up. The output, AC output, is going through those capacitors over here. One line is going through those lights, and then they come over here in these two um, uh, transformers. I already have a video on this setup, but it's one of the first video uploaded with has uh, no audio. So basically, this transformer are in the um, high resistance side are on the output of the generator and the low resistance side coming through the rectifier and then I can do some stuff with it what this do is uh, it makes the system draw more because it is not running very fast because uh, these two transformers are acting like a load on the system uh, but when you load the um, lower side, the output over here then the system will speed up a little bit I can do whatever I want with this output and uh, it won't decrease or increase the draw of the motor there is no gain there is no gain it is just a way to load your system at a certain load not more and not less and you can do whatever you want to do with the output then that's all it is, is. there's no gain because if I remove this the rotor will run at a far higher speed at this input so I have two sorry four lights in parallel on the EC side let me show you in the dark the lighting is uh, pretty awesome as usual not bad at all on the output I have let me measure that 24.8 volts DC coming out first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna use it on the DC lamps the input is now 825 milliamps gonna take the wires over here this one goes over here the negative goes over there you can see the lights are on the system is speeding up and the input is below 800 milliamps it is now 750 milliamps so it went down a little bit as I said before there is no gain in this it's just a way uh, with this capa not capacitor with this transformer that you can load your system um, at the maximum load and whatever you do with the output won't affect the rotor it will only affect the system on making it draw less but it's not a gain you don't gain anything with it it's just a nice way to load in your system at the maximum or stable load and you can do whatever you want with the output input is now yeah almost 700 milliamps 22 input and I have now AC and DC these light bulbs are all 1 watt load so I have here 5 watt load in parallel and here 4 watt load in parallel AC and DC now I'm gonna remove them from there the moment I removed it, the system slowed down. 
It is slowing down. As you can see, it is almost back up to 800 milliamps. At yeah, the voltage is wiggling a bit around 22, but that's because of the DC to DC converter I'm running it on. Now I'm gonna load it with the capacitor, large one farad capacitor. When this reaches 10 volt DC, this digital meter over here will light up. A small LED, blue LED are coming on already. And of course, the system input draw went from 800 to around 700 milliamps at 22 volts. And once again, there is no gain. Only thing what this does is give your system a maximum load. And whatever comes out the output of it, you can do whatever you want with it. These transformers are ratio 1 to 12. I need to test it with 1 on 1. Maybe the effect will be better, I do not know. I have to wound two transformers because I don't have 1 to 1 ratios. Gonna wound it this week and uh, do the test with it. Maybe it will be better, maybe it will be worse. Who knows? Otherwise, this post motor over here is still the same, same drive road, uh, drive circuitry, same everything. When I have something good, I do not change it anymore. You don't need to fix something that is not broken. If you try that, you will break it. As you can see, the voltage in the capacitor is now 12.9 DC, 13. Normally, when I fill the capacitor on the other pulse motor, if you've seen those videos, normally when this, this capacitor reaches 15 or above voltage, or high enough voltage, it will always drag down the system, even with very good coils, not in this case. And the reason for that is, these two transformers are loading the system already to their maximum. So whatever comes out of here doesn't affect the system at all. Let's say 725 milliamps at 22 volts. Almost 15 volts over here. Still got the lights going. I have here, uh, don't want to shock myself here. I feel a little uh, near Dino. If I remove it, that's a switch. If I can get my hands on it. If I remove the near Dino magnets, then I, oh, then I have um, only one EC lamp. That doesn't affect the system at all. If I put it over here on one side. I have two. If I put it above or in the middle, I have four very simple way of switching my lights. As you can see the voltage in the capacitor is now 15.8 volt DC and the system is still at 725 at 22 volt DC. I'm not, by the way, I'm not using the overdrive switch because uh, the meter can handle that. This meter is only one amp. I will need to put a 3 amp meter if I want to use the overdrive switch with this setup over here. Now as you can see the voltage capacity is already 16.3. And can we use that? I have a bad idea. I put that to the test. And I'm gonna put it over here. Gonna take two other leads. One and two. And I'm gonna put this one over here on the negative. Put this one over here on negative. And I'm gonna send this 
energy in this capacitor to those five DC light bulbs in parallel. And we'll see what happens. As you can see, pretty damn bright. And of course the voltage here is decreasing because there's more going out than is going in from this side. There's more going to the LED bulbs that was coming to the capacitor. But yes, the energy is always usable with very good lights. And as you can see, when I have now the, uh, I have now the capacitor on the output to the bulbs, and the input is now 21.9 at 700 milliamps. So this is a, a heavier load with matrix, which make the uh, amp dot decreases from 725 milliamps to 700. But once again, there is no gain. And I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna remove everything. And also gonna remove this wire over here. By removing this wire, these two, there is no more load on the generator side. And these two now are not being activated because it is open. As you can see, the input is going lower and the system is running higher now. So once again, there is no gain with this system. It only puts a certain maximum load on your post motor or generator or whatever. And you can use the output from that to do anything you want to do with it. Next step is for me to find two identical one-to-one -one ratio transformer and test it the same way again and see what happens and as that point over here mm -hmm. as you can see let me make some room here I can make it you can see the uh, yeah you can see that the AC sparks That's a pretty impressive spark for like uh, five millimeter or so. Yeah, dangerous, but cool. But be safe. Okay, just an update on this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.